Welcome back to another Activia training video. In this video, we're looking at alignment of data in Word. I get a lot of users asking me about this. They're struggling with the concepts or getting frustrated with trying to line data up properly, whether it be text or graphics, charts, pictures, tables. You probably want to make it look more professional and have things lined up properly. So taking the data we see on screen, I've got three paragraphs and a title here. If I click into that first paragraph, the alignment tools we can see are on the Home tab at the top in Word. This is Word 2010, but it applies to all versions. So if I just do Control-R, that right aligns the whole of that paragraph. You can see the right hand edge is straight. Control E, using shortcuts here, is centering. So you can see it's changing on the paragraph settings area here. And then Control L is left aligned, which is the default. So you don't need to select the whole paragraph to make paragraph changes. I can do here, and then go for E or R and back to L. But that's a quick way via the keyboard. Now, to select a paragraph, another shortcut to do that, we know that double clicking a word selects just that word. But if you do a triple click, one, two, three, that's a nice, easy, quick way to select the whole of that paragraph. You're going to make changes to that paragraph. For example, I could set that to subtle emphasis style from the top here. I'll triple click the next paragraph and set that to intense quote. Triple click the third paragraph and set that one to intense reference. So each with their own styles, but Triple clicking is a nice way to select the data. So whatever we're adding to the document, you can use those techniques for a quick alignment. You've got Control L, E and R. If I just quickly drop a picture in here, use the Activity logo and just move that down. Clicking the logo, again, it's the same principle. Control E will center that up in the document. Control R shifts it over to the right, and then Control L back to the left. If I just add a table, color this in. Looking at the positioning again, no need to bother with that particularly because it's already fitting nicely on the document there. And then we can just fire away and add data to that table. To select the whole table, just click that little square in the top left corner. So we're okay with tables, but you can see if I control E, the table, it's gone to centered. Control R, it's right aligned, and then back to left aligned. But using those techniques, it's a nice, easy way to set up data in your documents. Okay, we'll see you again on another Activia training video.